If you've ever been on the sideline of a college football game, you may have heard coaches or players yelling the term sudden change. And if you haven't, it goes a little bit like this. Great job, D. Let's get you some water. Sudden change! Sudden change! Hello again. I hope you're doing well. Easy on Yama here, and welcome to another episode of Easy on the Eyes and Optometry Vlog. Today, we're going to talk about sudden changes. In football, sudden changes are unexpected plays, usually a fumble or interception, that require the defensive players, who a lot of times have just gotten off the field, to stop what they're doing, put their helmets on, and sprint back into play. Despite the fatigue and loss of momentum, as a player, you have to lock in and focus to try to get the ball back again for your guys on the offensive side. You realize that overcoming that adversity is the only way to create positive momentum and push your team closer to victory. This year, life has been full of sudden changes. Earlier this year, I received an incredible internship from Esler America for the summer, but it was canceled due to COVID-19. And while I was disappointed that my internship got canceled, I knew the circumstances were beyond my control and that Esler made the best decisions it could to protect people's health and safety. So instead, I spent my summer doing other things. I picked up new skills. I read a lot. I got crazy active. And I even managed to start some optometry vlog. I've kept my spirits high and I haven't let these difficult times hold me back. And I'm not the only one in the world of optometry. Q Slideshow. So I reached out to my fellow optometry students and doctors all around to find out just what they have been up to and how they have been during these times. I asked them to send a picture of their response to the changes, or at the very least, they would show their good spirits. Much like myself, there were many people who took up new hobbies, maintained old ones and got productive in any way they could. There were also those who made the necessary adjustments to still provide eye care for those who needed it. And then there were the people who tackled the pandemic head on by making masks and even working in health departments. Overall, my friends in the optometry world have done a great job responding to the changes, but some even adding to life's changes. Congrats to Dr. Sharon and Thomas on your engagement. Instead of being defeated by our setbacks during this pandemic, Let's keep curating positive momentum in our lives by embracing the sudden changes and finding growth wherever they may take us. A huge thank you to everyone who participated in sharing. And thanks again, ASCO, for giving me this platform. As always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to follow me on Instagram at InEasyWeTrust and I will help you in any way possible. See you next time. Later.